welcome students just like organic compounds coordination compounds also show isomerism now what are isomerism what are isomers isomers are those compounds which have similar chemical formula but different structural formula so coordination compounds also show isomerism and isomerism is basically of two type one is structural another one is stereo so we'll study about the isomerism in coordination compounds in more detail along with some examples from the past year papers in this video let's start isomerism in complexes so now we are going to study about the isomerism shown by coordination compounds and and actually there are uh, two type of isomerism shown by coordination compounds and these are structural isomerism and stereo isomerism structural isomerism arise due to the difference in structure of the coordination compounds and these are of four types ionization isomerism hydration isomerism linkage isomerism and coordination isomerism there is another type of isomerism shown by coordination compounds and that is stereo isomerism which arises due to different spatial arrangement of the ligands around metal ion and these are two types geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism now we will discuss all these one by one in detail and let's start with ionization isomerism ionization isomerism arises due to exchange of groups of or ions between coordinate sphere and ionization sphere and what happens that these produce different type of ions in solution that means ionization isomers produce different ions on ionization and that's why they are known as ionization isomers and there is an example of ionization isomer if you see there are two compounds both have same chemical formula the difference is that in first one bromide is at primary valency while sulfate is at sec secondary valency but in second one sulfate comes at primary valency and bromine goes to secondary valency so what happens when the first one is dissolved in water it produces ions the first is obviously the complex ion and two bromide ions well while when second one is dissolved in water it will produce again a complex ion and a sulfate ion so the difference is that these two produce different ions on ionization the first one gives bromide ions second one gives sulfate ions this is the only difference between ionization isomers and that's why they are known as ionization isomers as the name suggests another example is this one when first one is dissolved in water it will produce obviously the coordinate ion along with two bromide ions while the second one will produce again a yes a complex ion coordinate ion followed by two chloride ions So in, so in the second one, chloride ion is produced. In first one, the bromide ion is produced. So they they produce different ions when dissolved in water, and they are known as ionization isomers. The next one is linkage isomerism. 